There's over $40 billion in unclaimed money in the United States. Is any of it yours? Let's find out. I'm Nicole from Low Income Relief, where we help millions of people save money and get free stuff. Unclaimed money comes from many different sources. Basically, if somebody owes you and they can't find you, that money will usually find its way to the unclaimed funds database. Some common sources of unclaimed money include uncashed paychecks, utility deposits, refunds or rebates, customer overpayments, unused gift certificates, unredeemed money orders, life insurance payouts, old bank balances, investment or trust fund distributions, and more. Each state maintains their own database for unclaimed funds. Sometimes they also have unclaimed property like jewelry, coins, stamps, and items from abandoned safe deposit boxes. The property is always sent to your last known address, so it's important to check the database for every state that you've lived in. And it adds up too. New York is holding $17 billion in unclaimed property. California has $10.2 billion. New Jersey has $4 billion. Pennsylvania has $3.8 billion. Illinois has $3.5 billion. But you get the point. There is a lot of money out there that has not been claimed. And it doesn't take much to claim the funds either. While researching this video, I discovered that my husband had three unclaimed accounts in one of the states we used to live in. I claimed $75 worth of money in less than three minutes. It was so easy. The hardest part is finding the right website to track down your money because each state has its own directory and there are so many scam sites out there that mimic the official ones. You can always visit lowincomerelief.com and search our unclaimed money article to find the right website for your state. We do our best to keep those links updated so you never end up on a scam site. You can also visit missingmoney.com which provides results for all states except California, Connecticut, Delaware, Georgia, Hawaii, Kansas, New Jersey, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Washington, and Wyoming. That website, missingmoney.com, is free to search, and it is the only website endorsed by the National Association of Unclaimed Property Administrators. Of course, you can also Google your state's unclaimed property office by searching for your state name and missing money. However, you need to be careful. The top few results are always ads, and those sites may not be trustworthy. The unclaimed funds are real, but you need to be careful to avoid scams. So here are three guidelines that can keep you safe. First, do not trust a website that requires you to pay money to conduct a search or claim your funds. This is a free service administered by the states and you should not have to pay anything. So any site that asks for your payment information is a big red flag. Second, do not trust anyone who calls you or reaches out to you about missing or unclaimed property. These sites exist and you can search those databases yourself, but they will not reach out to you directly. Always be wary of people who reach out to you first because that's generally how scammers operate. Third, do not give anyone your payment information when you are claiming the funds. When I filled out my husband's claim, the state just asked for our address to forward the payments. Nobody asked for payment methods. Some scammers will demand your bank information before they even complete the search. Never, ever, ever give them your bank information. Again, you can always visit lowincomerelief.com for a list of links to the official state websites. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more ways to save money and get free stuff.